Um, hi, I'm Yu Chongliang. So today I will talk about the E140 uh, question video two. Well, let's introduce my question. The question two, find the electrical field to the location of the rectangle as it show. And this is the picture of question you can see in here. Okay, that's nice. The first thing we need to do is find the electrical field contrived by one charge. The E field formula of the single charge is given by E equal KQ over R square. And K is the Coulomb constant. And the Q is mean charge. And the R is mean distance. Also, we create three different lines is one, two, three in here, you can see it. So the line one is represent that the E field contribute from the minus two micro charge on the Y axis. And saying it is negative charge and E field should point to the charge. And the line two represent the E field contribute from the minus two micro charge on the X axis. And also the line field represent the E field contribute from the plus four micro charge at the center. Since the charge at the center is positive, the current E field should point opposite to the charge. Um, this slides. You can see from the E field to the direction of the point converted downward. Why is that? Again, where the charge is negative, the E field represents the E point to two micro charge and cause the electrical field strain formula is E equal KQ over R squared. Then we put the minus two EQ and phi into the formula. Then we can get E equal negative Y time K time two U over phi squared. Next slide. Then in next slide, we can see from the E field one, the direction is pointing vertically left. Why is there again? When the charge is a negative, the E field vector will be pointing toward to minus two micro charge. Cause the electrical field strain formula is E K Q over R squared. Then we put the minus two and 10 meter into the formula. Then in the end, we can get E equal negative X time K time to U over time over 10 square. Next slide. So for the E3, it's not a simple vector along near X, X, no, no Y axis. Therefore, we need to represent it in turn of the sum of the base unit vector X and Y. To do that, first, we need to first find the projection of the E3 on the X axis, where cos angle one and the horizontal component divide by the same components. And then, uh, we need to find the objection of the E3 of the Y axis, where sin angle one and the vertical component divide by the slant component. Cosine angle one is given by phi over square. And the 10 square and sine angle one is given by 10 over square Phi, phi square times 10 square. And we can get Y if V is equal to K times 4U over 10 
squared times phi squared and x science data and y science data. Then we can get k times four times ku over 125 and times 10x head and times phi y head and over over 10 squared plus five squared. And next nice uh, is the sum of the E field uh, and E total equal E1 plus E2 plus E3. We can see the E3 can be favored into the X and Y direction. E1 is a long than X direction and then E2 is a long than Y direction. Therefore, to sum up all of the E field, and E1, E2, and E3, we can sample and the X component together and then Y components separately. Yeah. And also we can see E1 is the negative, let me give me a second. E1 is here, is negative X times K and times 2U times 10 over 10 square and this E1 times E3 and here. And for the X essay, so you need to use all the X or all the Y times here and times here. Then in the end, we can get the final answer E total. E total equals S hat 40 over 125 field two minus one over 50 and time y hat time 20 over 123 25 three over two and minus two over 25 and in the end we need to time k you don't forget it. and so we get e total equal x hat 0 0.0086 minus y time 0 0.066 times ku in the next slide so in the next slide, uh, in the end slide, we can get K is equal to nine times 10 over nine. And U is, you can see 10 is time over negative six. So in the end, we plus and KU into the E total, we can get the final answer. S hat 77.6 minus Y hat 591. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching.